Okay, here I have a Compact Logix L23 with a serial port, and I'm going to show you how to set that up today. Now, if you're like me, your laptop probably doesn't have an old fashioned serial port on it. So, you could use the uh, 9300 USBS, which is USB to serial converter. It works very well, it's a, it's a great unit, it's kind of expensive. Um, and then you'd probably pair that up with a, uh, you know, a 1747 or a 1756 CP3 cable, which is a no modem cable, you know, 9 pin to 9 pin. But in my case, I want to save some money uh, because I'm doing this all at home. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually use my low cost USB converter that works extremely well. You'll see a link at the bottom of the screen to where you can get one of these, as well as an off the shelf uh, no modem cable. Now, I actually am not going to use the no modem cable because I want to keep the number of cables in my bag to a minimum. So instead of using that, what I actually use is a standard serial cable with a no modem adapter on the end. You can see that right there. So that's what we're going to use today. And total, we're probably looking at uh, 35, 40 bucks. Whereas with the Rockwell cables, we're probably looking at close to $200. So let's go ahead and start that up. First, I'll go ahead and uh, plug in my USB to serial converter, and I have a separate video on setting this up and how it works and all that. And then I will connect to that a uh, my serial cable, my straight through serial cable. And then from there, I have my no modem adapter, so I'll go ahead and plug that into my Compact Logix. Okay, now we'll go over to RS Links, and we'll open her up and maximize her. And we'll come under Configure Drivers here, and we'll add an RS-232 DF1 device. I always use the default name. And here, I just know because this is my computer that it's this serial converter is COM3, so I'm going to choose COM3. I'll go ahead and choose Auto Configure. And you can see it's been successful. I hit OK. Close, and we'll go ahead and browse that connection. And there it is. There's my Compact Logix L23 processor. Now, if you don't know how to find out what COM port your serial port is, I'll go ahead and show you that really quick. Let's uh, minimize everything here, and we'll right click on my computer and go to properties. We'll go to device manager. We'll scroll down to ports and open that up. And here you can see my key span is COM port 3. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.